Hello everyone and welcome to World of Darkness news in this beautiful, beautiful day. Or should I say night? I mean, it is it is the night for the kindred. The night has come. Bloodlines 2 news are there. And we're so happy to be able to share something with you. It's, it's going to be definitely a celebratory episode where I can finally say the name. Bloodlines 2 have dropped the news. So, uh, well, let's just get straight to it, right? <laughs> Bloodlines 2 have released five new screenshots and there are news from Paradox about when you will be able to see more and that is September this year there's going to be some big drop, some big announcement that uh, uh, Paradox is trying to make everyone excited about. Do wait for September for the big things to come. But as for now, there are five new screenshots which are showing some new post-alpha gameplay of the game. I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of a slides in here so you can see them in detail. And additionally, there has been some news about the pre-existing pre-orders of the game. Mainly that the physical editions of the game are going to be automatically refunded to everyone. And there might be some changes in the future to the rewards you're getting with the digital editions. So there is a really nice tutorial on the web. You know, you've been waiting enough and it is completely fair if you're like, okay, I want to cancel my pre-order right now. And if you want to do that, you can go to the uh, Bloodlines 2 website and check out the full FAQ on how to refund if you want to. Or you can stick with us if you have the digital digital edition and wait for the news in September. We are extremely happy to be able to share this little glimpse uh, with you and uh, just uh, very much uh, cheering for the team working on this game. Uh, you will know more about this team in September. We are still keeping things under the wraps. There's an FAQ with more questions if you want to uh, know more about the plot points about, hey, what is happening with my edition of Bloodlines? I have this particular edition. What do I do? then you can all read about that on the website. But in short, digital editions all stay. If you want to uh, get a refund, you can, just like you could before. And uh, physical editions are going to be automatically refunded to everyone as we are waiting for the September update on this game. Um, so yeah, these are five screenshots that you will be able to uh, to see in detail if you go to the website. They are uh, available there in nicer resolution, so you can zoom in, try to look into them and find all the little details. And uh, yeah, from the team news, I'm also very happy to introduce everyone to uh, Debbie, who is going to be the new community manager for World of Darkness. And uh, Debbie is uh, going to be the person that you knock on doors to to ask about this game. Uh, Debbie won't be able to tell you right now who is developing the game, for example, but uh, Debbie is there to, um, to, to be there for you for this whole process, for this whole time. And uh, of course, you can check out Bloodlines to Discord at discord.gg slash Bloodlines2, uh, where there's a lot of people waiting for the new drops, for the new announcements, and uh, uh, speculating about the screenshots and, and more. So yeah, the game is alive, is in development, and uh, we cannot wait for September, <laughs> basically. That's what we, uh, what we have to share. I hope that you are excited about this. I hope that you're happy that we're able to show you a little bit more. And uh, yeah. Wake me up when September ends, I guess. <laughs> and about video games, we have something more for you. So there is Vampire the Masquerade Justice, which is a newly announced game from Fast Travel Games. If you remember, Fast Travel Games are already worked on the World of Darkness game. It was a rave game, Rave the Oblivion Afterlife, which is their previous title that I personally really enjoyed. It was a um, survival horror in which you play as a rave fully in VR with a lot of uh, extremely cool puzzles and things that you could do in the game, as well as the accessibility uh, functions that allowed me to play the game and enjoy it, as I'm not very good at VR and VR is uh, in general making me a little bit nauseous but i could play rave because i could just tweak the 
um, the, the movement system and everything to make sure that I can uh, I can move in the game pretty well. So thanks Fast Travel the Games for doing that for me. And this one is bigger, better, and uh, way more ambitious. So Vampire the Masquerade Justice is uh, called this way because of a connection to a specific clan. And I'm sure if you know Vampire the Masquerade well enough, you already know which clan it would be. The clan of Justice, Banu Hakim. You are playing as a vampire of clan Banu Hakim in Venice, Italy, looking for someone who killed your sire, trying to uncover the secrets about your sire's death. There are some abilities which were already hinted at as what you can, what you can actually do in the game. Uh, there's Cloak of Shadows, so we have some obfuscate in there. There's Cauldron of Blood, so Blood Sorcery is also present. And that's interesting. You can place a shadow trap to drag your enemies into oblivion. I am wondering if this Banu Hakim has partaked in some, some blood drinking from other kindred. Maybe some diablery. Maybe something happened. I don't know. But what I know is you will be able to feed in this game. You will be able to use the crossbow, which was, is going to be on your arm. So you will be able to, to, to shoot the crossbow from your arm, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, feeding in VR from um, from humans might be the most uh, on hand Vampire the Masquerade experience that's, that you've ever had. Uh, even more evocative than when you try to do something similar in the LARPs, I would say. <laughs> so definitely a game to uh, to, to check, check out, uh, especially if you have MetaQuest 2, Free and PSVR 2. Uh, these are the platforms on which the game is going to launch. Initially, Fast Travel Games already answered on our Discord that they are not um, cutting uh, like in the future possible releases on other platforms, but um, this is where the game is going to release originally. So let's check out the trailer, shall we? Venice, Italy. Felt like I was back on square one. Hiding in the night. I didn't want to get dragged into this. But the guilty must be punished. You'd do well to remember that. Because if you don't, I'll make things very uncomfortable for you. Well, and I'm sure that not all of you are here only for video games. We also have news about tabletop RPG books and things to come and uh, you won't be able to get this news just today but if you wait a day and you check out Renegade Con tomorrow you will be able to uh, see a lot more now if you're watching us on YouTube that's actually today so just letting you know I'm talking to the Twitch audience who is watching us on Thursday this is happening on Friday June 9th Renegade Con summer special edition with uh, special guests with a lot of new things that are going to be shown I'm just going to hint you a little bit because we, we, we haven't revealed a lot of things that are going to be there uh, but yeah this check it out we're going to update you about all of the things dropped on this one again con later on the news of course but uh, uh for those of you who are waiting on werewolf the apocalypse fifth edition preview uh well some people were thinking that maybe we're going to drop something on wednesday this week but then but nice two news dropped so uh there's going to be something tomorrow for you a uh, character creation from werewolf the apocalypse fifth edition is going to be included on the stream so for those of you who are looking forward for more werewolf news you'll be able to have a sneak peek on how to create a character uh, during this stream as well as updates about the future tabletop RPG books from World of Darkness which we are super excited about and I can't wait to see your reaction to what we are actually cooking <laughs> and let's see more
Hundred Reckoning is uh, available right now at a discount price in the Big Bad ba Double Bundle or one of the Big Bad Double Bundles. The Wolf Bundle has a uh, Hunter in it. Uh, this is uh, one of the two bundles which uh, Drive for RPG is, uh, has released in order to support the Big Bad Con. And there's tons of amazing tabletop RPG books uh, together in a huge bundle of goodness. Uh, you're able to get, um, like, uh, uh, it's for sure worth more than $100 in a, in a package, which is worth well, well it, which is, which costs way less, sorry. And uh, yeah, so you can check out on Drive for RPG, big bag, double bundle, in order to get 100 Reckoning together with other TTRPG titles at a very small price uh, when you combine them all together. There are some other TTRPGs in there that I personally really like. I'm not going to, you know, advertise other TTRPGs in there, but I gotta say that this bundle has a lot of goodness. There's a lot of things that I personally enjoy. Um, and yeah, uh, Hunter is one of them, uh, which I think deserves a lot more love. Hunter is, is just such a fun game. And yeah, if you haven't seen anything Hunter so far, if you're not yet convinced about whether Hunter is something for you or not, I recommend to check out one of the two things. Uh, uh, one is going to be a self-insert, but Hunter Garage is our official chronicle for Hunter the Reckoning, which uh, has concluded. It's all on YouTube, so you can go check it out. It's a short chronicle, so just few episodes, which can uh, show you a full Hunter story. And the second thing is actually community created, something that is really fun and uh, has a lot of fans out there. Not sure if you ever heard about Hunter the Parenting, but if you want to see something fun, then just type it on YouTube and you will know what's going on. Uh, anyway, big bad double bundle with wolf bundle having Hunter in it. Uh, very cheap uh, now on drive through RPG. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song, going back to video games, is now available on Steam. You can finally play it on Steam. Let me know how you experience it on Steam Deck, because I'm considering to do a replay on it on my deck. But uh, yeah, Vampire Swan Song, the game where you play as Kindred in Boston, is uh, available for everyone on Steam right now. This is the game in which you play as three distinct uh, different vampires. You have a Torridor, Ventru, and a Malkavian, and they are all set to investigate things happening in Boston for the local Camarilla. There's a lot of vampire politicking, a lot of uh, decisions you have to make that really model the gameplay and change the course of action. Uh, there's uh, a plenty of consequences to your actions as you go through. And uh, this game is not necessarily like a purely narrative experience or uh, an RPG. It's something in between. If you've ever seen Detroit Become Human, if you've ever seen um, The Council, this is the game that goes more into that cinematic vibe and uh, having decisions as you go, as well as some exploration of the areas in which you have to investigate and look very closely in order to uncover the full secret or various many secrets which are hidden in this game. So yeah, Vampire Swan Song available on Steam right now. Let us know how you enjoy it and do leave a review on Steam after you play it. I wonder what you think about this game. And for the last drop of news blood hunt with new updates and items so this part of the news is unfortunately a bit sad especially for yours truly because sharpop has announced that um vampire the masquerade blood hunt is not going to receive any more big updates uh, what's more they're actually going to disable the in-game monetization system in this autumn the servers are still up and they're going to go on as long as sharp says there's going to be the active community playing the game but they are uh, not going to update the game anymore with big things uh, and uh, well actually they have been updating it still with some smaller things pretty regularly so me as a bloodhound player i have a lot of fun discovering the new weapons and the new small things that they're adding uh, but yeah no more bigger updates which is a huge pain in my undead heart i have over 300 hours spread in this game and there's one thing that has to be said this game is completely free it's still playable you can jump in anytime there are no queues like long queues to wait on the server they have a really nice uh, fuel up system right now that uh, makes sure that uh, you can find the game very quickly and it's just so fun <laughs> i love this game so much it's easily my favorite multiplayer game that i've spent just so much time in and uh, easily my favorite battle royale and i've played tons of them so uh, if you've never played blood hunt give it a chance try it out 
because uh, I don't think we're going to have a game like this anytime soon. It, it's just like, it, it's one of a kind multiplayer game that allows you to clamp every single building, to clamp every surface you see. You can just stick to it and go up. You can be a cool vampire, you can look like a cool vampire, and uh, you can kill other cool vampires in a very, very wonderful way. <laughs> so uh, I very much recommend it. If you haven't checked it out, do it. Um, it's much easier now than it used to be. So if there was an issue for you, uh, about um, the learning curve of the game, the team deathmatch mode and being able to play against the bots is definitely something that makes the game simpler. Plus, there is uh, a very cool shooting range in the Elysium, Elysium right now, so you can go there and test all the weapons. I recommend to check it out. It's free and just play it. You will find me in this game most evenings. I am playing it a lot. Uh, my goal is to get into 1000 in-game hours um, this year, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it will go. But I plan to support this game as long as I can. So Blood Hunt still has new updates releasing, but just very small ones. There are just new, new weapon being dropped, some new mods being dropped um like uh like the little uh changes in the gameplay the artifacts are sometimes being updated so we got the new artifact recently which allows you to be invisible for most of the match uh, people can see you as this little bit of a blur in the air which is super cool and yeah there's just um, a lot of love put into this game i i personally cannot imagine how much love uh, the developers put in this there's just so many easter eggs so many little winks to vampire the masquerade uh, lore and the stories and the characters and uh yeah plot hunt we'll play it <laughs>